This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this car. It is a 2006 BMW 750 Li. Uh, it's a 4.8 liter rear wheel drive. Has 100,321 miles, just over 100,000 miles. It's a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Hayward, California. Uh, and it is on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Uh, please watch the little three minute animated video in our ad about salvage theft. Basically, it's the insurance company's attorneys do not want any more liability for the insurance company. Uh, if they sold it on a clean title to us and we sold it to you on a clean title and something happened to you in this car, because they sold it on a clean, clean title to us, a good attorney may be able to go back uh, past Wheel Kinetics, who doesn't have any money, to uh, Geico or Progressive or whoever and uh, get some of their money. So the salvage title basically is their way of divorcing the car and never seeing it again. Um, we get them here, we do an inspection. This is what the inspection looks like. I got my little cheat sheets here. Uh, runs and drives great. This is what my guys wrote for me. Runs and drives great. Previously painted front bumper is peeling. Uh, scrape around passenger rear wheel. Uh, DVD stuck in dash unit. My guys tell me there's one in Arizona that's $140 used. Most people don't care about that stuff. So if you want a DVD player, add $140 to the deal and we'll put one in. Um, and hopefully it'll work, it'll be a used unit. So uh, if it doesn't work, we'll return and give you your 140 back if that's what you want us to do. Um, it has four brand new, those are 21 inch wheels and tires. Four brand new tires, oil and filter, cabin AC filter, hood shocks are new. And of course, it's a BMW, so we had to do all four brake uh, rotors and pads. So it's got brand new brakes all the way. Done, done, done. Um, I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna show you what's going on with this car. There's a ton of stuff happening here. Cosmetically, it's a decent looking car, but it's got issues. I mean, it's got brand new set of tires, okay? Brand new set of tires. But, uh, you know, it's got some this stuff. I mean, it, it, what you need to do, in the photo gallery, there'll be a little uh, uh, magnifying glass you'll see. Please click on that and look at it very carefully. See this right here? Somebody painted this bumper and then uh, this uh, front bumper cover and then this dinged the curb a couple times and it cracked the paint. So it could use another sanding and paint. The bumper cover itself is very salvageable, but uh, we're not gonna do any of that stuff because it's gonna be cheap enough uh, this car that people will take it with its uh, with its warts it scrapes down here it looks like somebody put it on a lift at some point probably a BMW there's a little matching little chingasa right here well, it looks great on the undercarriage it looks fantastic there will be pictures of the undercarriage in the ad also these tires are sweet and we had to wait three or four days to get them. 21s are pretty odd tire size. All right, let's see. Well, yeah, that's because I was hitting the alarm. I want to hit this. There. See, so if you hit the alarm, the alarm will go off. It's weird. All right, a little information here before we keep going. Kelly Blue Book on this vehicle. Suggested retail price $11,559. All the equipment that's in this vehicle will be in the ad, and there's so many bells and whistles, I'm never gonna be able to get through all of them. But you go on to a CSAA, whatever that is, insurance, and now it's ours. All right, um, let's see. Got a little closer thing there. Press that. Oh, I forgot to show you the scrape over this wheel. Because it kind of, it's hard to see. Looks like somebody just got next to something. I mean, you can't even feel, there's no dent in there. It's just, I mean, really what you need is about $500 worth of paintwork. Front bumper and then just around this. See, you're standing here and you kind of really don't notice it. Honestly, for a daily, daily driver, I wouldn't do anything. Um, the one thing I saw in the car a little ding right there. I don't know if you can see that either in the video. Uh, let's see. Let me fire this guy up. And I should. This has got a comfort deal. So I should have. You can put the key in here or put your foot on the brake. And you should be able to start it. There you go. There you go. All right. 
put the key right there. All right, let's see. I'm gonna open up the hood. Show you under the hood. This car's got so much going on that there's no way I'm getting to all of it. New hood struts. go. I kind of got to hurry because I'm never going to go put all this stuff in. All right, there's window. Seats are in great shape. Hit this button, you can see the, let's see, there you go. The disc will come out. There you go. Then you push it back in. It'll close up. Let's see, how do you do this? I forget how you do this whole thing. There it is. Got your stuff in there. What else we got? Heated seats. Air conditioned seats. What else? Let's see, memories. You highlight that, and then you got, there's your seat back coming forward, and then you go back, then you highlight this, and you slide the whole seat forward and backwards. Highlight this, make the headrest go up and down, right? All kinds of cool stuff. Let's see, back seat. I gotta hurry up, man. This is gonna take too long at this rate. There's so much going on in this car. Um, I do know that the cover this cover right here, these side covers work, but these are off the track. They're probably inside the door. We're not taking the door apart to get these, these things that go up and down back on track, okay? Heated seats in the rear. More storage. See, you got the connectors for the, uh, the headphones because right there, you've got another You plug in and do all your stuff back here. Just like that, right? Uh, blah, 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 what else? Hell of a car. Boy, when this thing was brand new, it was a fortune. Many, many, many times what you're gonna pay for this car now. Heated seats in the rear. Blah, blah, blah. When this thing goes up, there you go. All right, driver window, passenger window, passenger rear window, driver rear window, perfect. Mirrors, out, in, down, up, other side. Out, in, up, down. Steering wheel out, in, down, up. Perfect. Let's see. Highlight the back seat. Forward, back. Highlight. Let's see. Highlight this. Go like this. There's the seat forward and back. Let's see, let's make sure that the headrest goes up. Yep, there's the headrest up and down. Perfect. All right, sorry I'm kind of rushing here, but <laughs> this thing's got so much going on. It's not even funny. It's ridiculous is what it is. How much going on here. Uh, let's see, I think this would be Tiptronic tip uh, controls for shifting. Here's your phone stuff here. Let's see, menu, accept. Let's see, let's go to navigation. You can do navigation in the back seat too. We already did that. There's your navigation. We'll go here, communication. There's your phone. Go here, climate, blah, blah, blah. There you go, navigation. Let's see, let, let me go back to what else we got here? There's entertainment. All right. Let's see. All right. 
it. There you go. Let's see. You got uh, windshield wipers down here. You got cruise control over here. What else we got? A shifter right here. Oh, you know what? Let's do the moonroof. Make sure we got a quick moonroof motor, and we do. This thing's really quick. Of all the things we don't like to fix or deal with, it's moonroofs. They are a huge pain in the ass. So that one's moving really fast. It's in good shape. Um, let's see. What else? Blah, blah, blah. Ba, 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 ba. All right. So to shift it, pull it in, down. Now we're in drive. Okay. So you go forward. And then if you want to go into park, just push it in. Watch. I'll push in on that button. And now we're in park. You want to go to reverse, up and in, up, in and up. Now we're in reverse. You see, we have parking sensors here. Let me see if we can back up to something here. There you go. All right. Now let's go to drive. Let's go see if we can send something over here. Yeah. There you go. Alright. Alright. Let's go for a ride. Alright, this car is being sold on a salvage title. We cannot give you plates and you can't get insurance on a salvage title. So if you're gonna to come to Tucson and drive it home, we have to take it to the police and do what's called a level three inspection uh, with the police. Once they do that, we take the salvage title and that inspection, the motor vehicle can get what's called the restored salvage title. Then we can issue you plates. We charge $200 to do that. And that's mandatory if you're gonna drive it home. Um, so if you're gonna come here to drive it home, you're gonna pay $200 to restore the title. Then you're gonna pay a $250 dock fee and then you're gonna pay taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. So it's very simple. Your state tax rate plus our city tax of 2% plus a $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Unless uh, you want us to restore the title before it ships out, um, click that little tab, the little button in the ad when you're buying the car, tab us restore it, and that'll add $200 to it and we'll have it restored before it ships out. Uh, once we receive your wire, if you're gonna ship, once we receive your wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We'll sign it off to you, notarize it, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. Uh, we'll even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Deposit is $500. Once we receive your deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it is for sale. So if you're serious and you're going to go through all the pictures and videos, please be ready with the deposit. Uh, other people might be doing the same thing as you, and it could be a race that you don't even know is happening. You could just be like stumbling around and, oh, I'll do it later, and then find out you don't have a car. Okay? Uh, that does happen. So. Uh, please make sure you get the deposit in. Boy, this thing's quick. And quiet. Uh, last part of the speech is uh, the uh, warranty speech. Is that a DeLorean in front of us? What is that? Huh. That's an interesting little car. Um, warranty speech. It's a 100,000 mile uh, 06. It's 11 years old. Please realize that there is no warranty on this thing. It's got a million bells and whistles. We've told you the only thing we can find that's not working is the DVD player, and we could hear it trying to. Someone probably put the, something in wrong or put a CD in instead of a DVD player. It's this guy right here. And I can hear it running in there. It probably works, but we can't get it out. We're not going to take that whole dash apart or that centerpiece off just to scoop that out. If you want it, we'll try it with a used one. If not, you know, just use the uh, CD player and listen to music like everyone else, <laughs> right? Anyway, um, no warranty. If it breaks the day you get it, you're gonna get it fixed. We are not writing checks, and this thing is a fantastic running car. Holy cow, love this thing. I would get right in this thing and go straight to Maine right now. Um, just realize, you know, what you're, what you're buying, and you're saving a bunch of money because of the title, and, you know, do your due diligence, know what you're buying, and that's it. Thank you.